The XC360P Rosimak, Wolverine, Armored Personnel Carrier is a Polish license produced version of the Finnish Patria AMV. This APC is locally built in Poland, however the most important components come from Finland. The Polish voice of Lady Mechanics and Company has the rights to produce and marketing the vehicle to both Polish mod and foreign customers until 2023. This company also acquired license to service and repair these vehicles until 2052. The Rosimak was ordered by the Polish mod in 2002 in order to modernize the Polish Army fleet of armored vehicles. The Rosimak replaced the aging Scott 8x8 armored personnel carriers and BWP-1 tracked infantry fighting vehicles. Polish mod ordered a total of 690 vehicles. This order included 377 armored personnel carriers and 313 up-armored and upgun wheeled infantry fighting vehicles. Deliveries began in 2004 and all 690 vehicles were planned to be delivered by 2013. Later new variants of the Rosimak emerged and the Polish army acquired additional vehicles to fulfill specialized needs. In 2015 Slovakia ordered 30 of these vehicles. In 2023 a total of 200 Polish Rosimak armored vehicles were reportedly delivered to Ukraine in order to defend against the Russian invasion. The Rosimak has seen service with the Polish army during the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan and during peacekeeping mission in Chad and Central African Republic. During these international deployments the Rosimak proved itself well. American soldiers refer the Polish Rosimaks as superior in all aspects to their strikers. At the time of its introduction the Patria AMV was among the most protected 8x8 armored personnel carriers. However it was also one of the largest APCs. The Polish Rosimak is fitted with modular ballistic protection. Its add-on armor composes of interchangeable modules of various thickness and can be tailored to suit mission requirements. Heavy armor is removed during peacetime and for transportation. However it is restored once the vehicle arrives in the combat theater. Maximum protection level is against 30mm armor piercing rounds. Vehicle also has a top class mine protection. It can withstand up to 10 kg TNT blast. There were numerous instances when the Polish Army Rosimaks were hit in Afghanistan by land mines and improvised explosive devices. In most cases there were no casualties. Two up-armored Polish Army vehicles were hit in Afghanistan by RPG-7 rockets, however armor was not penetrated and vehicles managed to return to base. Other sources report that there were more instances of Rosimak surviving RPG-7 hits. A cage armor can be fitted for a higher level of protection against RPG-7 rockets. NBC protection and fire suppression systems are fitted as standard. The Rosimak weights between 16 and 26 T according to armor and weapon systems. The baseline APC version has a crew of 2 and carries 10 soldiers. It has a shielded weapon mount on the roof for 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The IFV version is fitted with Italian Auto Malara Hitfist 30P turret. This turret is operated by commander and gunner. It is armed with a Bushmaster 230mm cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. This version has a crew of three and carries eight soldiers. Also, there are other versions of the Rosimak that are armed with remotely controlled 12.7mm machine guns or do not carry any weapons at all. The Rosimak is powered by the Scania DI-12 turbocharged diesel engine. Engine is mated to ZF automatic transmission with seven forward and one reverse speeds. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. The baseline Polish Army Rosimak is fully amphibious, both APC and wheeled IFV versions. On water these vehicles are propelled by two water jets. The Polish Rosimak can be airlifted by a C-130 Hercules tactical cargo aircraft. Recently Poland developed a whole host of combat vehicles, based on the Rosimak, however none of them have entered service yet. It seems that Poland plans to field rapid deployment brigades with Rosimak 8x8 heavily armored APCs in the same manner as US Army Field Striker Brigade combat teams. Each rapid deployment brigade has 8x8 armored vehicles of various variants. Operational concept behind these brigades is stressed on speed, deployability and maneuverability to counter enemy forces.